Day two at Edinburgh Comic Con, and I'm here uh, stopping off just to speak to Dave Lumsden uh, right. about his, well, it's a project really, a graphic novel, but there's also, uh, you were saying it grew from a, from a short film, is that it right? It is, yeah. We, about a year ago, we finished the short film, and it's basically like a post-apocalyptic film set in Edinburgh, and it's all like the world's covered in water. It's a bit like the road, kind of Walking Dead sort of style, so we decided to do a comic book at the same time. So we released a graphic novel alongside the film, and it's been doing really well, kind of... Uh, yeah, got nominated for a SIGBA award last year for best graphic novel, so we decided to um, yeah keep the story going. So we're going to continue the story on a graphic novel basis, like different volumes. And yeah, it's been doing great. It's been good fun. Yeah. yeah. Now uh, we the, the the short film. Yep. Is it, it's got some fantastic graphics in that. So it does, I mean, yeah. the, tell us a bit about the team behind that. Yeah, I mean, basically we got a really like awesome concept artist who basically did a, a shot of um, Edinburgh kind of all underwater and stuff, which kind of got like the like interest of the public. So they were like, oh, that sounds like a cool project. And Anthony Devine did all the matte paintings around uh, all the design work for the film, and he won a BAFTA New Talent Award for it last year. So wow. yeah, it was great, and we got a great visual effects artist um, called Dave Miko, who's from Glasgow, and uh, he won Best Visual Effects at the Mumbai Festival in um, in December. So yeah, the team were brilliant. I really, they, they deserve all the credit. I didn't really, yeah, I just wrote the script so uh, and directed it, but they were uh, they were the real talent behind it. They were awesome. Yeah, oh, really I'm sure you're selling yourself short a bit. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, they were the real talent behind it. They spent hours in dark rooms crying, probably cursing me, <laughs> cursing me to death. But yeah. no, it was a great project to be involved in and just to get out there and people seem to be really enjoying it. So hopefully you're going to continue doing it. So did you get to go to any of the, the awards things and, and drink too much champagne? And Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I got like scraped out and carried out a few times at different events. But yeah, I've been to the, like, the Glasgow Short Film Festival uh, last year. That's where it premiered. Um, yeah, that was great to see it on a big screen. So that was lovely. I didn't get to go in Mumbai, unfortunately, that would have been great. Yeah. But I heard it was, it was good. So, yeah, I mean, like the odd event to drink at. I mean, you know, you've got to celebrate. Of course. But, of yeah, course. yeah. But then, obviously, not be too much of a ridiculous animal at them. But anyway, but yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah. I was behaving myself. So yeah. Yeah. Make your name mud before you've even. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. Begun. <laughs> <laughs> hated, hated through the events, but no, it's been yeah. good. Everyone's been really supportive, and in fact, it's like a kind of Edinburgh film. Everyone's really got behind it and really helped out. So it's good that it's still kind of going so yeah, yeah. hopefully it continue and do more with it well the, i mean edinburgh the setting for for um boat yes is, it is it's got a natural kind of eerie feel to it and the history of edinburgh as well yeah. you know kind of lends itself to it doesn't it no definitely man yeah it's like because just i've been here my whole life i've always loved like the city and it's just like you say it's really just it's quite gothic looking in some places and i've always wanted to sort of show it in a different way and just we can kind of submerging it in water and playing around with all the buildings and stuff like that it's just great fun it's just nice to see it in a different way and especially just keeping it like uniquely scottish like the skyline and stuff so yeah the whole thing's set on the rooftops around in scotland and the second book that's just about to come out it really expands in edinburgh and all the different like buildings like carlton hill and all the different things we've been playing the castle especially is yeah. quite a big focal point of the actual second book so yeah, yeah well, it's good. It's great, it's great. So, more to follow? Yeah, no, for sure, mate. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the first book's been out and doing really well, and the second book's going to be out, I think, I, well, it's definitely this year, 2016, so it'll be either the end of May. The artist's working on it just now, and, um, yeah, it's looking great, so it'll be good to sort of continue it. I'm hoping to do five or six volumes, so right. and then see what happens there, maybe do another film down the road, but we'll have to see. Great, great. Well, you know, thanks so much for talking to us about it. That's it looks fantastic. It's a really interesting project and wish you all the luck going forward for it. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.